Hello everyone and welcome to another Wizard 101 guide video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my two favorite spots to uh, farm for jewels in this game because I think that uh, jewels are very important and not a lot of people know where to farm for them. So I'm going to give you two of the best overall in my opinion. But um, obviously there's more. If you have any more that you know, leave it in the comment section below. Um, you know, I'll, I'll definitely... Uh, pin it if it's you know really helpful and uh, i'll definitely like it and heart it as i always do um but before i get into it if you uh, are enjoying the videos recently please uh hit the sub button i'm trying out uh asking to subscribe in the beginning instead of the end of the video seeing if it if it changes anything i don't know but uh, anyways we're gonna get right into it um as i'm walking to the first place which is in mirage um i would like to uh say i am sorry for the lack of wiz series uploads recently i've just been a bit busy and just have found these uh shorter videos to be easier um work is slowing down and will probably stop soon so there'll be like a week or two where i don't have a job because i have a seasonal job uh currently so um during that time i'll probably be able to uh, focus more on the different things but um yeah we're getting into right here the first mob which is the death gulcher the death gulcher is found right here in a mirage you can follow where i went and go to it now i like the death gulcher for a few reasons one they drop power pip jewels power pip jewels are very useful because um morganth athames and blade of felt titan and the graveyard athame those all um, have a triangle slot and in my opinion the best use of that triangle slot is a pip jewel because pip jewels are incredibly useful accuracy jewels aren't very useful because most malastare gear gives um gives uh that you can see they give blosh jewels they also give crit jewels they're only the 13 version of crit jewels i believe they might be the 15 so um if you want the 15 you're gonna have to wait for the next thing but um I, I'm just gonna keep fighting them while I'm describing them. But another reason why um, these guys are special is because they drop um, two really good gardening uh, gardening plants. They drop the couch potatoes, which are useful for mega snacks, and evil mega peas, which are also useful for uh, mega snacks. It'd be cool if I got one now, but I didn't. Uh, you can see they also drop accuracy jewels and stuff. But um, they drop a lot of really good jewels that are incredibly useful for your wizard, but the pip is probably the best one, and um, the plants are uh, important as well. Next is going to be more for pet jewels and critical jewels, and uh, these are probably my favorite people to farm for jewels in the game. It's how I got uh, probably most of my critical jewels. Um, and definitely how I got most of my pet jewels. And you can see I have a lot of pet jewels right here. I have way more in my bank. But um, those are the ones off the top of my head that I can find. But anyways, I'm going to show you right here. You come down to the aerial jungle in Imperia. And I believe you take a right directly here. I'm getting stuck on all the trees. And here we are, the uh, Calamar Raiders. Now, both of these enemies are incredibly useful or incredibly good because they're both incredibly weak. They both have less than 2,000 health and um oh my god i pip failed that's just tragic okay these ones actually have 2100 health but if you have say a duo and i'm sure you could probably find people farming these um like for example i take my fire and my storm and i just blitz through these guys in one round um my fire has you know 90 percent critical or 80 percent critical and my storm has um 100 critical so just combined they you know blitz through the enemy um but these guys are really cool because they drop a lot of the um giver jewels for the pets and they drop a lot of the um oh my god i didn't kill that one drop a lot of giver jewels and they also drop a lot of dealer jewels um they drop critical jewels um I don't, they don't drop pip jewels, which kind of sucks, but, um, you know, otherwise they're fine. They don't drop anything special beyond that, but, um, some of the stuff they drop, um, like the items and stuff do give a decent amount of gold. So if you're low on gold and you want to farm for things, here you go. You can farm both at the same time. Um, I farmed these guys a lot, uh, in the past for, uh, for, uh, pet jewels, uh, specifically because I wanted, um, I believe 
what what was it that I wanted? Was it Myth Giver or Fire Dealer or something? I can't remember if it was for my Fire Pet or my Myth Pet. Or maybe it was my Death Pet. I don't know. But, um, definitely drops a lot of useful jewels. Like, uh, you can see here, I got a 13 Critical Death and Myth Eye, which Myth Eye obviously isn't the best. But if you don't have anything else, you might as well put that on. But you can see, um, Fire Boon, Fire Striker, Death Giver, Death Boon... Ice Assailant, like the, these guys drop all of those probably. I don't know if they drop Ice Assailant, but um, they do drop um, all the giver jewels, which is pretty important. Um, so that's basically it, that's all I wanted to show you. These guys drop the jewels that are most important. If you want the 17 critical jewels, the new catacombs things drop them a lot. Um, some of the uh, enemies in Imperia drop them and the likes of that but um yeah if you find this useful please drop a like hit the sub button why do i have an exalted storm amulet i don't know but um yeah that's it for this video uh tomorrow i'll be doing something so uh yeah like sub see you in the next one have a fantastic day thank you all for watching